What is up guys, Joe here, and in today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about a new Cydia tweak available in Cydia for 99 cents, and it's called Slide to Kill 8 Pro. Now what this basically allows you to do is close out all your applications, with simply one click. So as you see here, we have a little icon right here on the bottom right. And by simply pressing on this little icon, we'll be able to do many things. Uh, now you see that we have a little X on the bottom right, which is gonna allow us to close out all of our applications or kill all of our applications that are currently running in the background. We also have a little switch here or a little toggle to turn on control center. And we actually have another icon right here on the bottom left, which allows you to bring down your notification center. So with Slide to Kill 8 Pro, it's going to allow you to either kill all of your applications, activate Control Center, or activate your Notification Center or pull down the Notification Center. So let me quickly demo it real quick for you. Um, I can actually click on the X button there, but I don't want to do that right now. What I want to do is simply tap on these apps here. And as you see there, it closes out the applications. So right now I have a setting allowing me to simply tap on an application icon and then it will close out that certain app. Now if we go into our settings and then we scroll down to slide to kill 8 pro, we have different things that we can change. So first is going to be the kill switch, the enable or disable switch right there. So you can turn it on or off. Of course you had to turn it on for it to work. Now scrolling down, we have the kill now playing. So what this means is if you have a music application or a video playing, uh, it actually will not kill that application at this current moment because it is disabled. Now, if you want to kill everything, including any music that you're playing at the moment, we will go ahead and enable that. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave that disabled. Now, if we scroll down, we're gonna see our switcher action. So we have switcher slide down action and we have a switcher long press action. So what this is actually going to do is going to be, right now I have it set to kill all on the switcher slide down action. So what that means, it's gonna close out all of my applications, so it's gonna kill all of them. Uh, but you do have the options to either turn that on or go ahead and just show the quick menu or do nothing. That quick menu was the little menu that I showed you earlier where it pulls up the three little icons down at the bottom. So I right now I have it to kill all. So if I went ahead and double press this and I slide down, it'll actually kill all of my apps. But I don't wanna do that because I wanna save some of these apps uh, for a later little demo here in a second. Uh, but if you go ahead and do the switcher long press action, what that's gonna allow you to do, again, you'll be able to select kill all, show quick menu. So let's go ahead and we'll switch it to show quick menu because what we can do is simply press and hold. And as you see down here, that popped up. So again, if we go ahead and double press this, show our task switcher, and then we simply press on any of these pages, you will notice that it pops up. So if I hold it down, it's gonna pop up, but if I let go, it's gonna disappear. So going back into settings, we go into icon action. So this is all pertaining to your actual icons down here at the very bottom. So what this is gonna allow you to do is if we simply tap on, on an icon, which as you saw earlier, if when I tapped on a certain icon, it actually killed that certain application. So right now I have it switched to kill single, but we can also do kill all, so that'll close out all of our applications, or we can uh, choose the option to do nothing. Now going down below, you can do icon long press action, and we can do kill single, kill all, show quick menu, or do nothing. Again, I'll demo it with the show quick menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down, or long press on this, and I see there the quick menu actually popped up at the very bottom. I let go, actually, here you go, there you go. Press and hold, it pops up. Press and hold again, it'll disappear. So, going back into here, we also have the option to do icon area, swipe up action. So what this is gonna allow us to do, again, I'm gonna do a show quick menu, but you can choose to kill all or do nothing. So with the simple swipe up gesture on the icon, uh, you'll have the little menu down here at the bottom. Now going back, we have the icon area, swipe down action. Now again, kill all show quick menu or do nothing. And then below that we have the ghost button action. So right now it's set to show the quick menu. So I can actually set it to kill all, but as you saw in the very beginning of the video, it was set to show quick menu. So if I press that, uh, that will pop up the little quick menu. But if I go ahead and change it to, for instance, kill all, I can go ahead and kill all the applications by a simple tap. 
and that is it. So it killed all of my apps, all of my background running applications. And now as you see here, since I don't have any applications, it just has a little X button right there. So going back into my settings and going back down to slide to kill eight pro, we have one last setting and it's called excluded apps list. So with this, you can already guess it from what the name of that is, is excluded app list. So this will simply exclude this certain application. So for example, I have Spotify. Well, let's choose another one. Let's choose Facebook as well. Spotify is a music application and I have the setting where it doesn't kill that music application if I had a song playing. So, so right now it's playing a song I see here um, and I have Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and have Facebook open as well and we'll get out of that. But we'll open up, for example, the App Store, which is not a app I chose to be excluded. So if I go ahead and double press the home button to activate task switcher, uh, you will see that I have settings, Spotify, Facebook, and App Store. And simply by pressing this little X button down here, it closes out those applications, the App Store and settings, but it excluded the Facebook app and the Spotify application. So it's a tweak that allows you to close out all your applications plus a little more. Now I kind of do wish that it didn't do so much. I mean, I honestly don't care about anything else besides just closing out all of my applications and probably just so it won't kill my now playing application. So I don't know. I mean, I think this is cool and all, but it's a little too much for me, uh, but maybe you can actually take advantage of it and use it even more. Uh, but honestly, me, I just need something to kill all my applications. It's something that I'm still waiting on uh, to be implemented onto or into iOS. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you like this tweak? Are you a fan of it? You can actually find it in the Big Boss repo for 99 cents. And again, it is called Slide to Kill 8 Pro. It is all one word, uh, Slide to Kill 8 Pro, as you see there. Now, if you did want to check it out, they do have a light version. See how you like it. And then you can upgrade to the pro version for 99 cents. Uh, but you do have more features on the uh, pro version. So as you see here, you can find it in the Big Boss Reaper for 99 cents. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, hit the like button if you did enjoy this City of Tweaks. And if you want me to cover more City of Tweaks, uh, let me know with a like and a comment down below. Also, if you're not following me on any of my social media like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, all of my links are in the description, so go ahead and follow me on those so you'll be up to date with the latest information uh, and all that good stuff. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future city of tweaks or other tech related videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.